First introduced in 1937 before World War II even started, yet becoming one of the most feared German fighters to encounter in a dogfight, here are 10 things most people don't know about the BF-109. Number 10. Shaky Landings as dangerous as it was to other fighters in the sky, landing the BF-109 was incredibly dangerous for its pilots. With a very narrow landing gear and a heavy, powerful engine, these fighters were prone to tipping, making coming back to base tricky every time. Number 9. One of the most produced military aircraft in history. Because of its success in the skies, BF-109s were produced non-stop throughout World War II. Between 1936 and 1945, 33,985 airframes were built, only beat by Russia's Aleutian IL-2, which had 36,183 airframes produced. As a fun fact, the most produced aircraft in history is the Cessna 172, with over 44,000 manufactured from 1956 to today. Number 8. BF-109, or ME-109. The aircraft's designation has been a topic of debate for as long as the fighter's been around. It would make sense to think that it would be called an ME-109, the prefix standing for measurement. The fact of the matter is, since its first flight in 1935, it was built by a company called Bayerisch Flugzeug... Uh, Flugzeugwerke. Oh, thanks, Google. Anyway, that company was bought up by Messerschmitt in 1938, and to this day, people call it by both names and get into bar fights over it. Number 7. Germany's top three fighter aces used it. Eric Hartmann, Gerd Barkhorn, and Gunther Rohl had 352, 301, and 275 aerial victories respectively. Almost all of those kills were made behind the stick of the BF-109, making it the most feared aircraft to encounter over European skies. Number 6. The most advanced fighter of its day. While aerial battles of World War I were fought using early biplanes and triplanes, the BF-109's construction was revolutionary when it was first flown in 1935. It was constructed of metal, not wood and fabric, had retractable landing gear and a closed canopy, something never before seen on a fighter plane. Number 5. Distinctive Yellow Noses Although BF-109s had many different camouflage schemes, their most iconic and most represented in movies is the one with the yellow nose. Although not good camel by any means, in the early stages of the war when European skies were full of German planes, there was a lot of friendly fire going on. The yellow noses simply helped Germans identify their buddies. Number 4. It was extremely versatile. Although all planes have different variants, the BF-109 was constantly improved on throughout the war and also fit into a different role. It had almost three dozen variants with different engines, wingtips, propellers, and so on and so forth, making one aircraft capable of being a fighter, bomber escort, fighter bomber, day and night fighter, ground attack, and reconnaissance aircraft. Number three? It was so good, everyone wanted to use it. The early success of the BF-109's design made all the Axis powers salivate at the thought of having one. With its stellar performance from the beginning, by the end of the war, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czechoslovakia, Finland, Hungary, Israel, Italy, Japan, Romania, the Slavic Republic, the Spanish state, Switzerland, and Yugoslavia were using it. Number two, credited with the highest kill ratio of any World War II aircraft. There were many great planes that fought during World War II, like the Spitfire, Thunderbolt, Mustang, and others, but no aircraft comes close to collectively shooting down 15,000 planes of the opposing team. Yes. Records show about 15,000 aircraft were shot down by pilots using BF-109s. Sure, there are a lot of factors at play here, like length of service, pilot recycling and such, but these numbers are still impressive. And finally, number one. Only a handful of them survive. We already mentioned how these planes were produced throughout the war, but only 56 examples still exist today. That's less than 0.1% of how many were built. Out of those 56, only 11 are airworthy. Good news is, there are plenty under restoration right now all over the world, so you might see one in an air show near you in no time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. And if you have any ideas that you want us to put together, just drop us a line in the comments section. You are now free to watch any cat videos you'd like. Have a good one.